guys, Aaron Productions here, and one of the most common questions I'll be asked sometimes is, how do I wire up a pull station that has pigtails or an alarm that has pigtails? So, obviously, we could see here that this alarm has four wires coming out of it. It's not even an alarm, it's really just a strobe, remote strobe, and this is a pull station here, which obviously isn't an alarm, so how do you wire this up? Um... So, a lot of people don't know this, apparently, but if you look at the switch, or if you look at the alarm, um, there's two different heat shrink tubings on here, and one of them has both blacks, and one of them has both reds, and they actually just lead to the same place on the board, and these wires lead to the same place on the switch, so there's two reds on this side and two blacks on that side so these wires aren't independent these are I guess I show this one better so the two black wires are basically shorted together and these two are shorted together so it doesn't matter which one you use but what's very important is that you cap off the other end um, this is when you're using it with a pull station. If you're using this with a real alarm system, you would have to have a resistor right here. Or you would wire this out to the next device right here. But you always want to have it capped off when you're not using the next device in the line so that they don't short out to anything or spark to ground somewhere. Now for this pull station, um, I have screw terminals on here. This is the terminated end basically doing the same job as the wire nuts. Of, of course you could just use wire nuts, it does the same job. Except I could just put wires in here and screw them in. So to wire these up, all you have to do is you would take your incoming power. We'll use this wire right here. So this is our positive. It doesn't really matter, of course, because it's just going to be breaking the circuit. So this is our pull station that has four wires and the other end is capped off. Now the black one we're going to take and connect to the positive that is leaving the pull station. Now you splice the two negatives together. So basically what this is doing is breaking the connection until the pull station is pulled, just like you would with any normal pull station. Okay, so now that that's wired up, we'll take our input and of course, you could put it onto a power supply, but this is just for demonstration, so it's not going to be connected to anything. Now for the alarm, here we're going to take our wiring, and we're just going to wire it up to the positive and the negative, so that it would create the end of the circuit and close it. And of course these are capped off, they're also capped off on the other side over here with the wire terminals. Of course you could use wire nuts over there as well. Now, like I said, this is just for demonstration, but if I did pull it, then the strobe would go off, and there would be no issues. Now, of course, if you wanted to wire this up with a pull station that has pigtails, so a regular alarm like this, same thing. You just put the positive and the negative on there. So, basically what it is, is the two wires do the same job. Just make sure you cap it off when you're not using it, or if you're having it go to the next device, then you just connect it like you would normally or if you're having it go to the next device, use the first two wires as input and the last two wires as output. It doesn't matter which one is which, really, because they do the exact same job. They lead to the exact same spot on the board. It's just basically a duplicate. So that's going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.